Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the new responsive layout features that are coming to N5. So first, I just want to show you how this works and what we mean by responsive. I think most people understand this, that when the browser changes size, the layout changes. All right, so here is a magazine. Let's take a look at what it takes in InDesign to set this up and how it'll work in N5. So here in InDesign, you can see I have three different layouts. These are alternate layouts. I can create a new alternate layout by selecting one of these and saying create alternate layout and then it will base it on one of the existing layouts and I can pick any size. It'll pull the artwork over into the new one and then I can rearrange stuff and change the layout. You can see these three layouts are pretty different in some respects like this page. If you look at the second page of each of them. It gets thinner and thinner and it has to change quite a bit. So these are three different layouts. When we go to export them from N5, I'll use the Easy Export Wizard first, and you can see at the bottom it has detected responsive layouts and applied them. Now this only works if you have the proper license that supports responsive layouts. If not, it'll say it found responsive layouts, but uh, you need to upgrade to use them. So one other thing I want to point out on this screen is that there is a new option in the web setting. So we're going to take a look at how that looks because it'll help you make a responsive one-page website if that's what you're hoping to make. And if I click advanced, I'll show you how it works in the full dialog. This is the new page format option, the borderless page scroll. That's the one-page website option. Under page range, if you have these multiple layouts and they all have the same number of pages but they have different page sizes, then this responsive layouts option will appear. If you have the right license, you can select it. That's how you export responsive layouts. Now I want to show you how these layouts can look when you go ahead and export them. So back in my browser, we have this one here, and this was exported with the borderless page format. So it's a single page website scrolling style. So you can, you can see this. This is more of a digital magazine, so it doesn't quite have that look. And it's just switching when it gets to the different sizes. However, there's no intermediate scaling. I can enable that by also exporting with desktop scaling on, which is one of N5's other responsive features. So now it will proportionally scale the layouts, and it will swap them when it gets to those critical breakpoints. So you can see this magazine is always fitting in the window, and then when it switches, then I've got the uh, vertical tablet version. And if I go down even further, then I get the teeny tiny phone version. And that's as far as Chrome will let me scale down. And you can see I've done things in these different layouts, like to keep all this text available, I put it in a scrolling frame so you can see everything. And just to show you some of the other layouts, let's take a look at a flipbook. So here's the flipbook. When it's small, it's single page. And, and here, you don't see it much because there's not a very broad space, but there is the vertical tablet version. And if I were to scroll out, now you can see the full desktop version or horizontal tablet version. And you can see it's actually a two-page spread. So combining responsive features there with the flipbook as well. I'm going to show you one other layout. So our original InDesign file had three different alternate layouts. Now what if you have two and one is landscape and one is portrait? So let's take a look at that in the browser. So here in the browser, I have the landscape version open, and if I scale down, it'll switch to portrait at some point. And now it doesn't care about the size of the window. You can see it just scaling up, it switches to landscape because this window is now landscape. So all it cares about when I have two layouts that are the same size but switched over is portrait and landscape. So it's smart enough to realize if you just made, say, like two different tablet layouts, it'll swap between those two based on the orientation rather than the exact pixel values. And one more thing I want to show you about combining responsive features. If in your InDesign file you set up liquid layout rules, like for instance I take this item here and I say that I want to pin it to the top and the right, and then when I export with N5 I use the liquid page format, what I get is this output here, where you can see this has all kinds of in-between states. And instead of scaling proportionally, it's scaling based on the liquid layout rules. So at some point it gets the portrait, but the swap is very smooth here because all it's changing is the text. The text always stays centered because that's the rule for that, and all the corner items stay in the corner. So this also takes care of the limitations of liquid layout if you want to combine it with that responsive layout feature. I'm really excited to share this responsive layout feature with you. I'm looking forward to seeing all the cool things you create with it. 
I've got some more new features coming, so if you want to see those, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell to get notifications when new videos come out. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.